Japanese exercises to become stronger and healthier. Japanese engineer and Aikido instructor Katsuzo Nishi was very weak as a boy, and doctors told his parents he would die before he turned 20. But he didn't give up and instead found ways to improve his health. When he was 44, he wrote a book with his unique system for strengthening the body. Today, we invite you to do this quick workout together with us. Exercise number one. Goldfish exercise. Now there's a name you won't forget. This exercise consists of two parts. Start by lying on a hard surface. Place your arms on the floor straight above your head and pull your toes towards you so that your feet are perpendicular to the ground. Then, keeping your arms and legs on the floor, flex your left foot even more towards you while stretching your left arm out as much as you can. Do the same thing with your right foot and arm. We're going to do this for 30 seconds. Ready? Go! This exercise effectively strengthens and corrects your spine. Doing it regularly will correct your posture and increase blood circulation. One more time! Great! Now for part two. Clasp your hands together and place them under the back of your neck. Keep your legs together, but spread your feet slightly out to the sides, kind of like you're making a tail fin. Move your feet left and right so that your whole body wiggles like a swimming fish. Got it? Let's do a 30 second round. The goldfish exercise is also known to coordinate the work of your nervous system and improve organ function, like your liver, kidneys, and even heart. Three, two, one, and relax. Let's move along to the next exercise. Exercise number two. Exercise for capillary circulation. The initial position is, again, lying on a hard, flat surface this time with a fitness roller under your neck. Raise your arms and legs towards the ceiling with your knees and elbows slightly bent. Try to relax as much as possible while shaking your limbs. We have one minute for this exercise. Time to do it! This one is great at improving the circulation in your capillaries. It also exercises your spine, arms, legs, and even abdominal muscles, making your body way stronger. Don't forget that regularity is the key. Only daily sessions will bring you the desired results. A couple more seconds. Fantastic! Exercise number three. Joining your palms and soles. Just like the previous exercise, you have to lie on a hard and flat surface with a fitness roller supporting your neck. This one is also a complex two-parter. First off, bend your knees out to the sides and bring the soles of your feet together. Keep this up for 30 seconds. Let's begin.
stretch those inner thighs and keep your knees as close to the floor as possible. If it feels better, you can take it slow. Doing the exercise faster won't increase its effect in any way. So don't rush it. Focus on correct breathing and fully feel your body. We're almost done. And good job! Now let's do the second half. Keep your soles pressed together and pulled towards your groin throughout this second part. Press the fingertips of both hands together over your chest. Your fingers should be pointed towards the ceiling. Then press the entire length of your fingers together. Go back to just the fingertips. Do 10 of these. Now with just your fingertips touching, rotate your wrists back and forth. Your fingers will point towards the ceiling and then towards your chest. Repeat this movement 10 times. Next, press your palms together, fingers towards the ceiling, and swing your elbows out to the right and left. Again, 10 reps, please. Now you'll really need some coordination for this next move. Keeping your soles and palms pressed together, lift your hands up over your head. While doing this, extend your feet away from your groin. But keep those soles pressed together firmly. Next, you'll want to bring your hands back down towards your chest and your feet towards your groin. Extend away from the groin and chest and back towards them. Practice the movements a couple of times to get in the groove. Alright, now let's try it for 30 seconds straight. Any pain or discomfort, do the exercise slowly. As it becomes easier, you can increase the pace, but not too much. How are you feeling? One more time! You did it! Take a breather and prepare yourself for the next and final exercise. Exercise number four Spine and Stomach Exercise. This exercise also has several parts. So listen carefully. Sit up straight with your legs crossed and your hands clasped together resting on your ankles. This initial position won't change for the next few moments. Now shrug your shoulders up and down without changing the position of your hands. Then slowly bend your head to the side, bringing your ear towards your shoulder. Do this on the left and right sides. Now raise your head, stretching your chin up towards the ceiling. Then lower your head so that your chin touches your chest. When that's done, extend your arms out to the sides, keeping them parallel to the floor. Bend your elbows to bring your hands together in front of your face. Then bring them up and over behind your head while touching your chest with your chin. Now spread them back out to your sides, bring your shoulder blades together, straighten your back, bring your chin up towards the ceiling, and stay in this position for about 5 to 7 seconds. All right, less talking, more doing. Let's go! The key for these exercises is to listen to your body and try to figure out what it responds to better and what it finds most challenging. This will reveal your weak spots so that you can work on them and build your strength. Five more seconds to go. And all done! Props to you for not giving up till the end. You earned some quality relax time. So sit back, get comfy, and listen up. We have a couple more recommendations for you based on Katsuzo Nishi's health system. As we all know, spinal curvature can cause all kinds of problems for your internal organs. That's why it's very important to control your posture all day long and even at night. Katsuzo says that maintaining a straight spine can give you almost an extra inch of height. And it has beneficial effects on both the digestive and circulatory systems. So try to pay attention to your spine and practice good posture. Yeah, your parents and teachers were right all along. I know. Bummer. Japanese people also believe that scoliosis in the neck particularly is one of the first indications that a person's lifespan will be cut short. And while we can control the position of our head during the day, it's harder to do so at night. That's why Katsuzo recommends getting a solid pillow or a foam roller and placing it under the third and fourth vertebrae of the neck. Of course, a roller won't be the most comfortable thing in the world at first. 
That's an easy problem to solve, though. Just wrap it in a couple of layers of cloth, and then remove them one by one over time. This will help you get used to it gradually and naturally. And most important of all, Katsuzo Nishi strongly believes that everything you need to stay healthy is already within you. Just fight your laziness, use the priceless resources you have, and you'll be healthy, strong, and beautiful at any age. Do you have any advice or exercise tips on how to become stronger and healthier? Tell us in the comment section below! Don't forget to hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel if you want to stay on the bright side of life with us. Until next time!